Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay. Today we're looking at uh, Jesus and the Eyewitness Gospels. Uh, as Jesus and the Eyewitnesses, the Gospels as Eyewitness Testimony. Richard Balkan, 2006. Erdman. And we're on page 6. He writes, This is the assumption that the tradition about Jesus, his acts and his words, pass through a long process of oral tradition in the early Christian communities. Um, and the writers of the Gospels only at a later stage of this process so sorry I couldn't read one of the words and we had re-edited or so this is the assumption that the tradition this is form criticism it's on about form criticism this is the assumption that traditions about Jesus his acts and his words passed through a long process of oral tradition in the early Christian communities that the writers of the Gospels uh, were at a later, later stage of this process page 6 I'll read that again because uh, I got interrupted with the telephone this is the assumption for criticism that the traditions about Jesus, his acts and his words passed through a long process of oral tradition in the early Christian communities and re-edited I'll put it in because I can't read my word there I think it's edited the writers of the Gospels only at a later stage of this process, page 6 page 7 if the four critics are right, the disciples must have been translated to heaven immediately after the resurrection. Uh, that's Jay Barkham, who quotes uh, Vincent Taylor, and we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, one of the uh, things about um, historical Jesus studies is form criticism, um, and we'll get. We'll, was which was um, mainly this guy uh, Rudolf Bultmann was the main guy for this and uh, we we'll may look at him at a later date uh, some of the book some of these essays and writings uh, but Rudolf Bultmann was influential in developing form criticism and basically what form criticism said is that um, the Gospels are obviously late late literature which have been developed over a long period of time of historical development uh, due to um, anonymous communities who've taken the oral tradition of the disciples or whoever knew Jesus and changed that oral tradition uh, and it became a mishmash of, of uh, myth and fact and these communities produced uh, the Gospels which are just edited bits of this tradition but the the point here in page 7 where Barkham quotes Vincent Taylor if the form critics are right the disciples must have been translated to heaven immediately after the resurrection what Vincent Taylor uh, humorously is saying there is look this you this um, anonymous editing of communities that would mean that the disciples who lived in Jesus time and the disciples after the second the next generation of disciples after them was there were specific people like we had the Apostle Paul and then we had Timothy we had uh, Peter and then we had Mark etc uh, we had Paul and his friend Luke in other words there were key individual people who were custodians of the tradition of Jesus and form criticism is basically saying that these individuals just must have disappeared and what Borkham is saying is saying no wait a minute no the, the way actually the way oral tradition and the way eyewitness material is, is passed on it's actually often passed on by key authoritative individuals who then pass it on to other key authoritative individuals 
and this is diametrically opposed to the Boltman project and what that means is it if that's the case if that's how it happened then it opens the door to saying well maybe if there were the keys in individuals and they existed and they were authoritative of the tradition of passing on the life of Jesus then maybe there's actually more eyewitness material and less mythological development here than we've given the Gospels credit for that's the beauty of what Borkham and other scholars in this area are bringing to us and it, and it has direct relevance against the skeptics the atheists and the many mythorists and Jesus mythers out there who said Jesus is a myth it, it, it completely demolishes a lot of skepticism and a lot of um, attacks on the Christian faith because what was what it does is, is actually bring this theory of eyewitness material brings us closer to the historical Jesus and verifies more the Gospels and we'll get into more of this